Paul Farmer, Dre back at it. Today, it's another beautiful morning here on the farm. But today we have officially started building the high tunnel there. My dad and brother, they're actually working on the four corners. I gotta go get a uh, pry bar. So we could dig Southwest Missouri. We have more rocks and dirt, so that's where in the pry bar. So that's the plan for today. And for the next few weeks, is to finish building this high tunnel as much as we can throughout the going to farmers markets, different things. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification bell. Come come to you guys three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And uh, you guys stay tuned for today's video. We're building another high tunnel. It's only gotta be 16 inches in the ground, bro. So I guess I'm the parts man or the tools man. I'm gonna have to go get the, I don't know what you call it. It's the, it's like a shovel, but it takes stuff out of the hole. We don't even have a name for it. We just call it the hole something. We all know what we're talking about when we say that. So I'm gonna go in the shop, grab that real quick. And I need channel locks. So as you guys can see there, the rocks is kind of iffy because we, we got the auger, so we can actually dig. But then again, it doesn't really all work that way. So you guys get the, the, or the digging bars and the, everything else, try to get the rocks out of there. Let me see if I find a channel lock in here real quick. Oh, 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 one door, one door. Perfect, channel locks. Ugh, I'm dying in heat, it's real humid. We're just gonna get a lot of rain here pretty soon, so. We need the rain. We'll see if uh, <clears throat> how much we get done today. I gotta go to farmer's market pretty soon here. So we'll see how much we can work and then we'll start packing for farmer's market. So for the ones wondering why we had to drill the four corners, well, this is, we got this, uh, uh, the high tunnel for the NRCS high tunnel grant. So the some of the um, so some of the regulations you got to have whenever you do build this high tunnel for the NRCS, the four corners need to be in concrete, and the rest of them we're gonna beat them in the ground with the skid steer or the tractor, the hydraulic um, uh, post driver. But the end walls here, what we gotta do is we gotta pour concrete around the corners. And for the ones who know that if you put concrete on a galvanized pipe, the pipe would just slide out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a rebar, one foot rebar across the bottom at 16 inches. The post actually has to be in the ground uh, 32 inches, but at 16 inches halfway, we're gonna put a rebar across, and that's why we dug 16 inches. So whenever we beat the pipe in, it's gonna keep it from sliding out, and then we're gonna have four strong corners. And then the rest, once these, the, once the four corners are in, we're gonna go ahead and beat the rest in with the uh, skid steer, with the post driver, with the hydraulic post driver, because as you guys saw, we have so much rock here, it's kind of impossible to beat them by hand. So luckily, we have the equipment to uh, to beat them by the. Beat them in with uh, tractors instead of by hand. So right now we gotta get four of them, take them in the shop, drill them with the drill press, put a rebar across them, beating the four corners, and we're gonna start beating in the, the actual end wall pipes or the side walls or we, before we get done today. So we'll see how much we get done. It's just, we're gonna work on this high tunnel slowly and surely about, you know, as much as we can every day until we get it done. 
So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So this is a post we're going to the ground. These are ten foot, or we have eight foot sidewall. So I'm gonna cut that and maybe try helping them from falling over this way. Perfect. That's loud. That's loud enough. Great. So the battery on the gator most seriously is just dead, so we gotta charge it, I guess, try to jump start it real quick, see if it works. But we will see, I don't know why it didn't start, but get inside. So it's about to rain. Just look at those clouds coming in. Hopefully another two or three inches of rain. We need it. So much for working outside today. Wind just picked up. I mean we were kinda expecting the storm to come, but Hey, we're not complaining. We'll take the rain. At least we got something done. We got to go in the shop now and uh, take put that the rebar like I explained to you guys through the pipe there. And tomorrow, hopefully, if it doesn't rain, we'll just get more rain tomorrow. We will uh, be in the ground, but we'll see. But we need the rain. We'll take as much as we can. It is the next day, and uh, it's been raining like this, just a small sprinkle since yesterday, since I showed you guys the last clip there, and it's just been. It poured down, we got about a half inch for about, in about two hours yesterday, just poured down rain. And it's just been sprinkling like this for the past 12 hours and still coming. We still, still got some more storms coming. Alrighty, so last night I realized that I never talked about how these NRCS high tunnel equipped grants work. So I'm going to try to explain that in uh, just a brief moment here, just to see if uh, I can remember everything off the top of my head. So whenever you do... Get, get the information about the grant, you fill, you fill out an application, and then you send it in. And in our area, the application due date is uh, the first, um, uh, November 1st. And then if you, if you, if you, don't, uh, get, if you don't if you don't turn your application in before November 1st, then you get it in the next year. So if, that's why it's good to know the application date and when it's due. So whenever, you, let's say you do, like, like the one we just, uh, we just got approved for. Last November, we uh, turned in the application. And then this March, they, we got approved. So some of the things they require whenever you do get a high tunnel grant is one of the things they do require is that you do buy a kit from uh, like a from a people who do make high tunnels and stuff. So what you, what you see here, this is a kit from Morgan County Seed. They're from Central Missouri, and they they do all kinds of high tunnels, different shapes, sizes, and they they're known for the the Gothic style high tunnel, real high peaked. They have real strong um, purling pipes, just. I think the, the the pipes that go in the, the end wall, the sidewall pipes are two and three quarter. So that's why we go with them because they're real sturdy and real strong. And they, I know they ship all over the United States and stuff. And um, so that's one of the things they do require is that you do buy a kit. And some of the other things they do require for you to even get approved. I forgot to mention this earlier on. This is so this, the first thing that they need a that you, first thing before you even get a grant, you have to have a garden for pr uh, three previous years for you even to get a grant because then they don't want you to give a grant. And for to a person that never seen or never um, that never farmed or never grown a garden, so first requirement is you have, you have to have a garden for three years, and then after that you get approved and all the good stuff. So then it comes down to then they recommend you buying a kit. And whenever you do build a high tunnel, some of the things they recommend you is put the four corners in concrete, like I mentioned yesterday, and then. During the growing season, some of the things that the, the requirements are that you are growing the, the product or whatever crop you are in the soil. They don't want it to become be a greenhouse, so they want you to grow in the soil. And then they do come and inspect you every year. Like they, they, we, We're good friends with the guy, who the inspector, so he comes out here and buys produce and stuff all the time off us. So he knows and trusts us that we grow stuff in the, in the soil. And they don't want, like, whenever they first started the high tunnel equipped grants, the um, some of the first ones they gave out, you know, the farmers they grew stuff one eight, one year, and the rest of the three years, they uh, they just grew, they just you know made it in, in a chicken barn or stored cattle or something. So that they don't want to do that. So that's why they come and inspect you for the first three years to make sure you're actually growing 
a crop in there and you know hold them to your promise and your part of the, the the grant that you got so that's some of the requirements they and then there's a whole list of stuff that they require but that's just from the top of my head some of the basic stuff that you know that they require and i'm gonna i guess i'm gonna kind of explain the what a high tunnel is so a high tunnel is a, a, a greenhouse structure like but you use passive ventilation so a passive ventilation like you see here the sides go down and um you're not you're not using any external heat but for us we kind of have a hybrid of a, a a high tunnel because we are growing uh we are heating it and then we have the fan up there as you guys can see here we use that fan just kind of blow the, with the hot air in the early springtime so we kind of have like a hybrid but they don't really for them they just want to see the crop that you're growing and you're growing in the soil and that you actually fulfilled your um your promise to the to the government that you are going to actually use the grant so another thing that they recommend is the the square footage so this is the stuff they just recommend but you don't have to do the square footage i know to get a grant you got to have at least um 1400 square feet i believe and they max it out at 3000 square feet i believe so whenever you do get the grants they um so let's say like the one we just got here i'm going to explain this real quick uh so what we did is we got approved in uh, march so then we went ahead and ordered a high tunnel and morgan county see they're really busy so whenever you do order it it's that we were six weeks out so by the time six weeks out from march it was already too late we ran out of time to actually put it up but then they give you one year to actually put up the the high tunnel before the grant expires so we have until next march march of 2020 to get this one up so and then they, they come and inspect you so whenever you do get it up so let me just backtrack here real quick i'm just getting ahead of myself so let's say you get approved and uh, you order a high tunnel so the first time you order the high tunnel you have to pay it out of your back pocket and uh, you have to pay it up front out of your money and then you got to set it up you get either you're going to pay someone to set it up or put it up yourself and then once the high tunnel is up and ready to go then they come and inspect you and then they fill out all the paperwork and stuff and then they reimburse your money and that's a that's a, a lot of farmers they don't, don't really like about this this grant stuff that you know a lot of farmers they don't have ten thousand dollars laying around to actually buy a structure but even though they do reimburse you, you know, if you get a payday loan or something like that, you just get a loan from the bank or something, they're still going to charge interest. So that's something you got to go back and forth on and doing. So for us, we, my parents are blessed and we have the opportunity. We just bought a cash and then we're going to, whenever we do get reimbursed, we're just going to use that money and put it back where it came from. So that's some of the things that you do have to require. And that's some of the downfalls of the high tunnel grants. You got to pay it for, up front and then they reimburse your money. Alrighty, so I kind of explained, you know, the in and outs of high tunnel grants. I get it's more complicated, but that's just that's just the basics of it, and how the how they give them out and stuff. And one thing I I, I, uh, I asked the the guy in charge of them in our area, I was like, so where does that money come from from the government? So he said, so a lot of the farmers they get subsidies if they have crop loss or whatever. And uh, he said the high tunnel grant money comes, it comes from that that portion of the subsidy money, but it comes we get the privilege before. It goes on to the the big row crop farmers since the 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 usda is trying to you know local produce is you know starting to boom and go back and forth so our all the money that comes from the 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 nrcs equip grants is comes from the exact same money that from the subsidies but we get a, a hold of it first before the row crop farmers get it so that's a little bit of uh where the money comes from because i was curious and I, was, I asked the guy and he's like yeah it's that simple so for the next few weeks here, we're going to continue working on that, that our second high tunnel here, or the third high tunnel, and putting that one up. It is the exact same one as you guys can see here. It's the exact same eight foot walls. It has the W bar trusses, the purling pipes, exact same thing, same size. The only thing different about that one is we're going to go ahead and put the steel doors on both ends. On this one, on that end, we just put a small 30 inch door. As you can see down there, I'm trying to point down there. And uh, but on the, the 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 new one we're putting up is going to have steel doors on both ends. It makes it easier to go in and out of tractors and stuff. So that's why, see, this is our first one we built. So we were kind of, you know, we didn't know what we were doing exactly. So now we know exactly. So for the next few weeks, like I said, we're going to go ahead and start, you know, slowly and surely getting it done if the weather actually cooperates and it doesn't continue raining. But, you know, tomorrow we're supposed to clear up again and then we're supposed to, we're going to continue bending in the post and get the walls and the purling. And then once, I'm going to show you guys every step of the way. And, you know, it goes up pretty quick once you get it done and we're, we just, we're going to be putting up our third one so it's going to be we're kind of i don't want to say pros but we kind of know what you're doing we're, what, what, what we're doing so for the next few weeks we're going to do the exact same thing like that and uh finish up the high tunnel so that is going to be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button 
like this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the, that notification bell. Comes comes you guys three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And uh, I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.